Could a trip to the barber shop save lives? So researchers at Vanderbilt think it could. They're trying to use barber shops in Nashville to find men who might be at risk for serious heart problems. News Channel 5's Chris Conte explains how in a story new at 6. The haircut enhances your look. That's right. <laughs> Barbers are often the unspoken pillars of their communities. I'm here. I watch the community grow. I watch it change. Michael McLean is no exception. I just not seen him. He has spent two decades cutting hair at Masters on Clarksville. He hears a lot. Being a barber, you kind of have to decipher the conversation. But it is the unspoken trust between barber and client mm -hmm. that has recently caught the attention of folks outside of this shop. I am part of the community. The barber is the central point of this. Dr. Henry Okafor is a cardiologist at Vanderbilt. He is hoping barber shops might be the key to saving lives when it comes to diagnosing hypertension issues in the African American community. Most men will go to the barber shop at least once or twice each month, but they will not go to their doctors for years. It's a silent killer that they was talking about. Starting today at no cost, researchers will start taking people's blood pressure. They're hoping to find 60 men to follow for their study for the next year. You know, a lot of people my age, I'm not going to no doctor. I ain't gonna do nothing but find out something anyway. And in here you feel a little bit more comfortable being in the barber shop by knowing us and knowing what's going on. That, that is what researchers are counting on. If they can find these men out in the community without forcing them to go to the doctor, they can diagnose heart problems early, maybe prevent heart attacks or strokes. We're going to try. We're going to do our best. Mm -hmm. While they may not be doctors, barbers like Michael McLean could very well be saving lives. Chris Conte, News Channel 5.